Good Tuesday, everyone. Our USA Mortgage level of concern, we're at level one today, and that is because of the afternoon heat. I need you to be safe out there, drink lots of water, take breaks in the shade, and just be safe. Look at our Clearview Closet and Blind five-day forecast. Mostly sunny skies will be with us through at least Thursday, and we'll still see sun Friday and Saturday, but the good news is, look at that, we're finally able to introduce a chance for some rain, but first we've got to deal with some heat. Low 90s today, mid 90s. Tomorrow and Thursday, it's going to be 100 degrees to our west over the next few days, so it could always be worse. Humidity is going to be ticking up too. It's been gradually inching upward as we've gone through the last several days, and it will keep increasing, and that's why we have about a 10% chance. So that's definitely not a good chance, but it's not zero. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance on Thursday of an isolated shower or storm, especially across maybe the southern half of Cumberland County, as it looks right now, might have that 10% chance. But then on Friday, we step it up to 30% for all of us. So that's getting a little bit better. And then on Saturday, we go to 50% chance. Now, keep in mind, you know, 10, 30, and 50 is not everybody but we'll certainly take whatever we can get, especially as dry as it is getting. Premier Generators brings us our threat graphic, and right now widespread severe weather not expected. I will keep an eye on our storm chances at the end of this week. Of course, in this Saturday, any storm this time of the year can be strong to even briefly severe, but why, there's no indications of any widespread severe weather, but I'll certainly keep an eye on that for you. On this day in 1854, a tornado struck downtown Louisville around noon. First touched down near 25th Street, southwest of downtown, and lifted to the intersection of 5th and Main Street. Although it was only on the ground for two miles, it was in such an urban area, it took 25 lives. And many of those were killed in the 3rd Presbyterian Church, where 55 people were gathered for Sunday church service. Straight line winds that accompanied the tornado did significant damage to the Ohio River, where at least one boat sunk. So unusual for August um, to be having tornadoes in, in our part of the world, but they do happen. Weather word of the day, haboob, an intense sandstorm or dust storm caused by strong winds with sand or dust often lofted to heights as high as 5,000 feet, resulting in a wall of dust along the leading edge of the haboob that can be visually stunning. And I've got a picture there, and you can Google other pictures of haboobs. They are quite impressive and frightening if you don't know what they are when you see it coming across the landscape. You folks have a wonderful Tuesday and keep looking up for more weather information meteorologist